don't give them to you, keep the money, and kick you out of school, and take away the person who could help you because you're disabled, and they don't understand it, and they call you a junkie, and basically mock you at every turn, and then me, a graduate of that school, uh, make fun of you and I together, and our relationship, which we're married, mock us and make us feel like we're both junkies, which neither one of us have ever had that problem ever in our life. Never, ever once. Living in San Francisco gives you a reputation of being a junkie by product of being around bands like girls, that's bullshit. By being around people in the Tenderloin who are gay, that's bullshit. By being around people like Sandy Kim, that's bullshit. All of us are artists, and we all have our independent lifestyles, and you can't make a definition about us that defines us and slander our good names by basically coming up with these positions that would keep you from education and uh, higher learning and a safe place to live and basically the standards of living that are to owed to everybody you know you have the ability to fill out a student loan and to get the money to go to school and pay that money back when you've earned your place in the work society then you should be able to use that money to pay your like down payment for your uh, apartment to live somewhere while you're in that freaking city with no family on your own to get situated because you're disabled and that would prevent you from being homeless the whole fucking point of fucking getting a loan in the first place and to go to school so by keeping that money they fucking destroy your entire life and ability to go to school and then they fucking have the balls to throw you out and call you a drug addict and say because you don't take a drug like um uh, class that they offer, um, excuse me, you've been denied your right as a person on every level, and then I've been thrown out in less than five minute warning. Not even five minutes was I thrown out. For no reason. I'm walking through the hallway, and I'm ejected from my own school that I'm an alumni to, permanently, without any explanation whatsoever by Heather Hickman, and what's that asshole's name? Uh, uh, Andrew Mullen. Andrew Mullen, whose only job in the past before at this school was at a state college. He's never ever been in a private institution before. He dealt with art school students. And Heather Hickman's only real problem is that during that summer, we had actually discovered a mural on the ground floor in the in the uh, bank of uh, lockers uh, where the Court board is on the downstairs floor a painting that was hidden in the actual uh, wall and it was you know probably the most groundbreaking thing discovered at the school because no one had noticed the murals that were missing that had been there forever and so she takes that and gets offended that she doesn't discover it and gets us thrown out of the school permanently to basically give herself some sort of credential and then the school still goes under because it financially has been bankrupt for over 15 years from embezzlement from the Ella King Torah uh, conflict and the other guy who was uh, in the uh, technologies department the corrupt uh, interim president of the school whatever his name was and his lover the hiring the uh, digital tech guy. So, uh, thank you, San Francisco Art Institute, for being a bunch of assholes who defraud its student body and uh, its generations to come. As we, its student body, who have graduated, pass on this amazing tradition to our friends, believing that you would actually do something good with this world, you defraud us and our institution and end up losing the power of this institution's hundred year long tradition and sink the building's financial wealth into a pit of misery that can't even stand for itself anymore. The walls that have value built into their deeds in the writing of the Articles of Incorporation are the thing you're selling at this point, I'm sure. 
You don't deserve to be trustees. It's fucking bullshit. This should be run by the students and the past students, the alumni, to be its board of directors and its president because you've been so deficient in actually giving a shit about the institution's longevity. The same thing happens at Taliesin West. Your fucking selfish bullshit takes over and you guys try to profit off the school and that destroys it. This is meant for people who give a shit about its history. Two experimental schools like out in one year. Yeah, two experimental schools, the most the like West actually Coast. true real schools in the West Coast are destroyed by board of trustees total negligence, self-interest and self-interest and uh, it's disgusting. These are the most important cultural identities that have been destroyed. It took forever to pass this kind of tradition on. We're warriors. Everyone who's gone to this school is a complete and weird fucking person. An avant-garde fucking person who does not fucking make sense to any other job class. We are literally the strangest class of unemployables. And you need us. And you've gone and ruined the place that makes us. And now we have no place to validate new people like us. Except for other shitty commercial art schools that have literal pre-packaged bullshit That's for fucking a graduate program. That are really like real estate scams in the first yeah. place. Like they go fucking buy a fucking degree in real estate and call it an art school. Fuck you. Fuck off. Fuck you so much. Fine art is a real thing and you guys can't fucking destroy it by fucking using our school as your fucking banks. This is our property and we take it back. We hijack it. Your seat is ours, bitch. You are all in, what do you call it, the uh, fiduciary conflict with your position and you are now out of the job by your very roles being completely failed in fiduciary duty. You are fired. The student body takes its power and overrules you and elects itself as its hierarchical new leadership would imply people closest to the school, Bob Varaga, I put you in charge of the school. <laughs> you live next door. Do something about it. You're the president for fuck's sake. Whoever's in charge of that, I hope that Jeremy from the DMS comes up and says he's willing to do something to initiate power that actually puts the board of trustees into his hands as well as the rest of the student body that actually gives a shit that's local at the current time because you're all a bunch of artists and you know what to do but the trustees do not and my judge Mr. Bird which is what this is about needs to acknowledge that my name is Eric Seidenglance, not Mr. Seidenglance, and I never want to be called Mr. Seidenglance again. For that matter, my name's Erica Eric. I do not want to be called Eric. That is why it says X. And that is why four years ago, the courts ruled on what it means to be X. And if you can't understand a driver's license, an address, an issue date, a name, a prima facie document, then maybe you should be fired as a judge and held in contempt for holding us hostage while you pay yourself a salary to work for the fucking situation that you're doing, which is to supply the Scientologists a false case and trial against people who are defrauded of their home for several years, for five years? Fuck you! Get the fuck out of our fucking goddamn courts. You don't deserve your fucking seat on the, tr on the bench. You're a fucking pathetic excuse for a retired old fogey. Pardon me, but this is a generation of people who don't take fraud very lightly. And you're spending all the money just yeah. sitting there fucking not even acknowledging your own rules that you've yeah. decided upon as a judicial, you know, final allotment of fucking self-elected <laughs> bitches who are basically boomers who deny... Generation X, their right to be a positive influence on this world. Really sucking it dry. Get the fuck out of the fucking court and allow a generation of people 
to be elected. I hope that there is an actual recall. I hope that there is an actual contempt held on this judge. I hope that there is a firing by a unanimous vote in an actual federal court against this local um, panel of judges because there isn't a single black judge in Los Angeles that is currently elected. There isn't a single black judge in the LA court system. In the, LA court system. In the California court system, if I look at it right now. Southern district. No, I don't think there is one at all right now. Actually, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty damn sure there isn't one elected right now. So, I don't have too many mice, but at least I know they're not X. They're mice. Meese and mouses. I'm not a mouse. I know I'm not a mouse.